Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you guys to the world's ugliest babysitters. I want y'all to take a look at these people's faces like, why do y'all look like that? Why am I being so mean? I'll tell you guys here in a moment. But I'm just saying these people are just, whoa, what is wrong? Like his face looks like a loaf of bread and her face looked like Eggland's best, like one of those extra large eggs. And somebody said that they actually look like the couple from the movie Shrek. I'm going to pull that picture up. Let me show y'all something real quick. Now, I could y'all could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I guess he kind of does look like, oh my goodness. They do kind of look like <laughs> Shrek and Fiona. Do they not? Oh my goodness. I think y'all got it right. My chat is crazy. Y'all so crazy. Let me get this off my screen. Let me tell y'all about this wild and crazy story, man, because it's every bit of sad. It really is. But this story comes out of a place called Georgia. There's a woman in Georgia accused of murdering a two-year-old baby that she and her husband were allegedly babysitting. Now, why they said allegedly babysitting, they should be able to tell us that information, whether that's direct or not. I don't know how that would be alleged babysitting, but nonetheless, they said they were allegedly babysitting her over the weekend and now claims through her lawyer that she was at work when the infant suffered fatal injuries. So let me tell y'all about that beautiful baby girl. Detectives with the Hall County Sheriff's Office, HCSO, arrested 31-year-old Juan Martinez and his wife, Fiona, excuse me, not Fiona, 32-year-old Nancy Martinez, okay? So Shrek and Fiona are both residents of Gainesville Monday morning in connection with the death of that little girl. Let me see if I can show you her picture. Beautiful little girl. This baby right here, I think I have a better picture of her. Let me see if I can find it. I like this one. That little baby, that is Valeria Jordan Garfius. She's two years, she was two years old. The husband and wife duo were charged in one, with one count of felony murder and first degree cruelty to children. Authorities said Valeria was inside, well, excuse me, Valeria was in the sole care of Juan and Nancy between noon and 2 p.m. Two hours, two damn hours, 120 minutes on Sunday, October the 10th, when they caused tra traumatic brain injury and other internal injuries to the child's body, resulting in this baby's eventual death. And you look at this beautiful, beautiful little princess. What does she do to y'all to deserve that? I would love for Shrek and Fiona to come out and explain what angered them so badly that this beautiful baby girl, nothing, there is nothing. There is no excuse for it. There is nothing that this baby ever could have done. Matter of fact, you'd also have to question the biological parents of why would you not only let somebody, but like these two people, how well did y'all know them? I'm always talking about background checks. Did you do a background check? Are they legal citizens of the United States of America even? I'm sorry, I just have to ask that. Were you that broke that you had to rely on some so-called friends to watch your kid rather than taking your kids to certified babysitters. She's two years old. She should be at a daycare. Yes? Well, we can't afford daycare. We can't afford daycare. Daycare is too expensive. Then you shouldn't have kids if you need to go the cheap route with your children. Hello? If you're that damn broke, then you shouldn't have kids. Just know that before you decide to lay down and have this unprotected, oh, 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 unprotected sex. Sorry. We are grown as hell, man. 
before you decide to lay down and have all of this unprotected sex, somebody should have told you that children are expensive. And most people know that they just don't care because they think they're going to just mosey their way through life and figure it out. And somebody's going to help them. Somebody's going to give them some handouts and we're going to get free daycare. We're going to get free food and free housing and free medical. We're going to get this and that. I'm, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I apologize, y'all. I apologize. I don't know. I have these wild thoughts in my head. Something is wrong with me, okay? Y'all pray for me, okay? Pray for your boy. Anyway. But children are expensive. You need to have life insurance. You need to have daycare. You need to have diapers. You need to have formula. You need to have a bed. You need to have clothes. You need to have shoes. You need to have electricity. You need to have working water. You need to have trash disposal. Why would we even have to say things like this in America? This is 2021 going on 2022. Why do we even have to tell people this? This girl suffered brain injuries and internal injuries, and I'm sure they probably lacerated some of this baby's insides as well. The internal injuries were reported inflicted in the child's abdominal region, so they punched and probably kicked her in the damn stomach. But Nancy's attorney, Arturo Corso, on Tuesday told the news that his client was working during the time period investigators say Valeria was fatally abused. But that should be easy to prove. That's what I want y'all to understand. They arrested both of them, not one of them. They're both in custody. Valeria's death is a terrible tragedy. Nancy has known the child all of her life and her mother since they were just kids themselves. Nancy loves Valeria and Lorena so, so very much. She is inconsolable. As her counsel, I can already see that whatever happened to this child clearly happened while Nancy was at work. Corso wrote in a statement to the paper, it would be very easy to verify her innocence with phone and work logs. Like I said, I just hope the official investigation doesn't end with an arrest just because these charges against Nancy are maddeningly unjust. And I don't know about that because they arrested her for a reason. I'm sure they arrest... Maybe they arrested her just because she's so unattractive. Like, ma'am, your face looks like it's melting. Like, it's just, ugh. you know how titties sag? Like, her face is like, like a titty that's just, like, as the years pass, it just sags. Gravity takes over. And it looks like gravity just took over this woman's face. It's just an observation. Sorry if you think I'm being mean. I can ask that our community can hold judgment, focus our energies on prayers for the child's family and let the justice system work through Nancy. Excuse me, though Nancy has no legal burden of proof as, as to her innocence, the state should expect a robust defense. The statement did not include any mention of Nancy's husband. As previously reported by the news, Holland County Fire Services responded to a call at the couple's residence located at the 2000 block of Bennett Circle around approximately 1.50 p.m. on Sunday. The emergency medical personnel attempted life-saving procedures and the toddler was rushed to Northeast Georgia Medical Center. And of course, she passed away. The medical team then flew her to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, where she was later pronounced dead. Officials at the hospital contacted HSCO detectives because the nature of the victim's injuries were non-accidental, basically, like it looked like she got beat up. Medical personnel said that Valeria's death was a homicide caused by traumatic brain injury and other internal injuries to the child's body. I want y'all to remember that this baby is two years old. Just two. Just learned how to walk and maybe didn't even really know how to talk yet. Juan and Nancy Martinez were booked and they said both of them were booked into the Hall County Jail following their arrest, where both currently being held with zero bond. No bond. The child's body was sent to the Bureau, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, GBI Forensic Lab, for an autopsy that is pending as case remains under investigation. 
Derek Booth, as a spokesperson for the Hall County Sheriff's Office, told the news that investigators do believe that Mar the, the, uh, the Martinez couple were friends or acquaintances of Valeria's parents. I figured that much, but again, I think I've said everything I needed to say. If you needed to save money on child care, I don't care if your, your friends shouldn't be babysitting your kids. Take them to daycare. They are paid and trained to take care of children. They're also on videotape taking care of your children. The state comes in and checks to make sure that they are taking care of your children. There are some checks and balances that are in place, which is also why childcare can be expensive, which is also why if you value your children's life, just as well as y'all open up GoFundMes to try to bury these children and have some type of funds. Let me see if they, yeah, did they have a GoFundMe? Yes, they did. Just to let y'all know. I'm not sure how much they asked for, for the GoFundMe, but they did raise $1,500, $1,530. That's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, but they did try to open up a GoFundMe. But we won't make an investment. We won't make a $1,500 investment in childcare. We won't make a $1,500 investment in these children's college fund. We won't make a $1,500 investment in a, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call those things? A trust fund. We won't put $1,500 into starting a business for our children. But we're real quick to put that money, take it and put these babies in the ground. All I ask is why won't we take that same effort, that same energy, that same anguish, all that hurt and pain, all that energy, take that same energy and put it into the lives of children rather than waiting until something bad happens and then we're sitting here mourning and asking for people to contribute to their debts. I would hope that we start to put children on a pedestal. I'm thankful for the people that we have in our chat, the AFC, where we advocate for children first and we put these babies' lives first and we hope that we get justice for her. She's a beautiful little princess and we would have loved to see this baby grow up and become something great but let me get a solo shot of her because I don't want those people on my screen when I'm talking about this beautiful little girl. Young princess, RIP. Beautiful baby girl. She deserves so much better. And I think that her parents failed her. And I'm going to say that the parents might get mad, but I think the parents failed her by trying to short change the system, saving some money and you lost your child to murder in two hours, 120 minutes. And you know, it wasn't worth it. I need to add this portion to this video. So this is going to be a quick edit that I needed to add this information. This baby was shaken. They shook these individuals shook this baby trying to get her to shut up. Both of these people were DACA recipients and were only in America due to DACA. They are both on ICE detainers, which is why they got a zero bond. And I know some people initially, when they watch the story, they might, they might be like, Jay, you're being racist. Why would you say, are they even supposed to be in this country legally? Well, I just literally just confirmed my fears. These are horrible people. And I'm going to also tell you guys this. This doesn't go out because I'm not a racist person. I love everybody. I don't care what country you come from. But I'm going to tell y'all this. If you come to my country, I'm from America. I'm not from Africa. I'm from America, okay? I don't know why we don't call ourselves Native Americans because the majority of us were raised here, born here. Our parents were raised and born here. Then their parents were raised and born here. Take some pride where the hell you're from, man. We've been here. If this is all we know, then claim what we have here and what we have here is beautiful. Don't just let people from these other countries that hate where they're from 
that are running from their problems and then they come here and they're going to ruin our country? Why would you let a bunch of people in to our country that don't want to be here legally, that don't want to be United States citizens and go through the proper process? Why would you let people come in and take up your benefits, ruin your, uh, your, your medical care system, right? Ruin your neighborhoods, bring in all kind of crime and bullshit. Why would y'all let people do that? I'm not talking about race. I'm talking about legalities. People come here of all skin colors, of all races, of all ages. I just want people to be here legally. If they're not going to be here legally, shove it up your behind. That's the nicest way I can say it. They murdered this baby because they were never good people. They were always P.O.S. People should have never been here, should have never had access to this baby and damn sure never should have been babysitting. I want to thank you to my friends, to all my friends who helped me with information in the chat. Y'all know how much I truly, truly appreciate that. And thank you so much because that was so, so vital. The news tries to hide when DACA recipients commit crimes. Why? But here's the thing, y'all are smart people, y'all vote, y'all put these people in office. Make sure that these people have your country's best interest, your city, your county, your neighborhoods in, their best, in your best interest. If they're not, if they believe in, yeah, we should bring in illegal immigrants and just let people just ramshack our freaking country and ruin it and run it to the damn ground. Get their asses out of office. Y'all vote matters. Our country can't do nothing unless it's with our consent. Use your voices and vote, people. Vote. I love all of my United States citizens and my people across the world. Thank y'all for advocating for children first, and thank you for advocating for law-abiding citizens, doing the right thing, all right? That's all I got to say. Thank you. I thank y'all for listening with an open mind as well as an open heart. There were no news videos here. Now, why wasn't this big news? Why didn't this even make one news video is beyond me. But I think that's a failure of Georgia. Maybe they didn't think this baby's life mattered, but we do. We believe that that baby's life absolutely mattered and it should be shared. So make sure you guys hit that share, hit that like and share this baby's story. Okay, thank you.